for ongoing service agreements between your business and your customers. Financials has the service contract. The service contract allows for periodic services to be provided and accounted for by your service management. These contracts can be created manually or automatically from a service contract quote. In this video, we will manually create a service contract, then invoice a customer for the first instance of the service contract. We are currently in the Service Dispatcher role center, which the service contracts can be found in the navigation pane. If you are in a different role center, just use the search bar function like so. To create a new service contract, press New in the ribbon. You have the option of using a contract template to populate the majority of required fields. Here we have example templates specific to repairing software or hardware, and if the contract was prepaid or not. Let's choose hardware prepaid. After applying a template, we choose the customer to issue this contract to. How about the Canon Group? Now their information has automatically populated the contract. Let's go through each one of these tabs. Invoicing Fast tab has their billing information and where you can tag the contract with dimensions of your choosing. Within shipping, we can choose the location of the service, which is dependent if the customer has multiple locations. Under the Servicing Fast tab, we can choose the service period, response time, and service order type, whether it be preventative or specific. In the Invoice Details Fast tab, we can apply an invoicing period so that the price may vary from when the service occurs. The Price Update Fast tab allows us to automatically modify the price on a periodic basis. And finally, the Details Fast tab. Here, we can include a date for the conclusion of the service contract, as well as a ceiling for the amount of labor applied. Now let's include some service items to this contract. To do this, we enter the Lines Table Fast tab. Within the Lines table, because the service items are customer specific, we see the list of previous service items. Let's use the service item created in the previous how-to video. Within the service contract, we can include multiple service items. We can even include inventory that will be consumed during the service from our inventory list. Once you are satisfied with the contents of the service contract, you can change the line value of the inventory and the service items to your specific needs for this contract. Let's remove a service item, change the price, and view the change in the annual amount in the Invoice Details Fast tab. Hit Refresh. And there it is. Now that you've finished the preparation for the service contract, we lock the document and sign the contract. This now allows us to create an invoice based on our invoicing periods. Just press the button in the ribbon and we've automatically generated a service invoice which we can view in the service invoice list. There it is. And that's how you create a service contract. Not bad, right? 